Hi, welcome to Atinesia. I'm Laurent Timmermans, and in this video, I would like to discuss bank account opening in Hong Kong in 2022. So if you have any question, uh, here are the um, uh, information of uh, our company, Atinesia Consulting. You can just drop us an email at info at and uh, my team will uh, answer your email and help you if you need anything. One thing before we start, you know, a uh, small disclaimer, you know, things keep changing in the industry. So uh, be careful that you always look for the most updated video uh, on this uh, channel. So this video was, was recording in, uh, in, uh, in August 2022. And uh, so if you are looking at this video in 2025, look if there is nothing new, you know, on the channel because the information will be obviously more accurate. Now, uh, opening a company in Hong Kong has been extremely annoying for the past few years let's let's be honest since 2016 it has been really difficult you can check my other videos if you wonder why and how i mean it's not the purpose for today today i really want to be more pragmatic and look at what's possible in 2022 but i have to say yeah, in 2022 it's fairly easy to open an account in hong kong it's even easier than pre-2016 i would say now the first thing to look at is are you a resident of Hong Kong? If you're a Hong Kong resident, then you can you have all the options really. You can go to HSBC, Hang Seng Bank, DBS, uh, Bank of China. These are the, the most common uh, uh, options. But you can also use uh, MSO, so uh, money service operators like uh, Currency, Tetris, and Air Wallex, because the offering of this MSO has developed itself so much over the last few years that sometimes even locals prefer to use them over traditional banks. Now, if you are not Hong Kong resident, then your options are much more limited. Uh, forget about bank account opening here, you know, unless you have a proper structure with uh, staff, local director, uh, basically a permanent establishment in Hong Kong, the bank will never open an account for you if you don't have that. So your only option will be MSOs. So the most uh, used one at the moment, at least the one we are working most with in, in Hong Kong, with Atinesia, with my company, are Currency, Statris, and Air Wallex. Now, I wanted to make a videos on those. That's The video today is mostly focused on those MSOs. Um, I wanted to do a videos on MSOs, and I didn't really know what angle to take because, well, the information is there online. You know, if you want to find these companies, you go check the website, you'll have everything you need. Uh, so I was just thinking, how can I make that a little bit more special or original? And what I decided to do is to go see my account managers and ask them, hey, from your experience with clients, who is using what and for what reasons? And basically I interviewed my account manager, get all the information. And uh, based on these informations, um, I created this, uh, th this video. So you will have a perspective that's a bit more pragmatic than what you would find on the website, you know, because on the website, these companies are marketing themselves. For us, we will have here more a, a, user, um, uh, a user perspective. So the first one, the currency. So this is how it looks like when you go on their website. Um, and this is what my account managers told me. So concerning currency is great for zero in integration. So they have a, a really, uh, established connection and uh, API built with zero. It works really well. So this, this is good news if you're a zero user. Um, they have a wide network of banking partners in different countries. They are great with customer service as they have dedicated account managers. So that's pretty nice because you have somebody that you know in, in currency that can actually help you if you have any issue with your, your, your account. Um, they have good FX rate. Uh, for large transfers. You can also set up Singapore accounts. So this is interesting because we, we mostly work with Hong Kong, but due to the, um, the latest event in Hong Kong, uh, many clients have asked us to uh, open companies for them and do the accounting in Singapore. So now we also offer Singaporean services. And when they do so, uh, they like to work with currency as well because Singapore has really similar issues as Hong Kong with the uh, in terms of banking, so we can we can actually get uh, get them some uh, some accounts with uh, currency. So this is pretty interesting as well. Uh, it's ideal for clients who um, deal with large transfer. So currency is not great if you do a, uh, if you do a lot of micro transfers, but if you do big transfers, they are they are quite interesting. Uh, they actually specialize in cross border transfers. 
and they do have a virtual debit card uh, that will come soon so it's not yet there like the the physical will come soon it's not yet there but the virtual is actually working you can you can use it and do your payment already now and they are a bit strict in terms of kyc and account opening so uh, uh, kyc is know your customer so they will ask uh, a bit more questions and uh, it might be a bit uh, more difficult than than, than other uh, companies in the list today but um, yeah it's, it's still really doable you know it's uh, it's completely doable they have transparency fee uh, that you can negotiate uh, so if you if you if you are getting bigger you get more transfers you have uh, more transactions uh, more volumes then you can go to the, to your account manager and uh, try to negotiate the rates down and uh, it's something really common so um, yeah it's it's good to know now the other one statris statris is a bit newer in the market uh, compared to currency currency was really one of the first one together with neat uh, but then since then you, we have much more options uh, a new one i mean new and newer now they're already there in the market for like maybe three years or something like that a bit pre-pandemic so yeah statris so statris uh wasn't great with them they have a payment account in hong kong and in uh, europe uh, they are based on a monthly fee um, uh, pricing so actually with them you have to pay a fee every month so it's not really great to have to pay every month but the good thing is there is no fees on receiving local payment in Hong Kong dollars and only five Hong Kong dollars for local transfers so it's it's nice if you have a local business actually if you are based here in Hong Kong uh, th this is great because you can do a lot of small transactions in Hong Kong and, and there is no problem uh, they have good FX rate, but you will see that these, no matter which company you choose, currency, statris, or Air Wallex, good FX rates is one of their characteristics. Because the, the license they are operating with is the, the MSO license, and traditionally these licenses were actually dealing with uh, uh, foreign exchange. So that's, uh, that's, that's how this whole thing started, actually. You can receive payment from individuals. So this is really important. If you do B2C, uh, currency is a bit annoying. Uh, it's difficult to receive and send payment to individuals. It's better for B2C. But with Statris and also Air Wallex, you can receive payments from individuals. It's much easier. So if you deal with B2C, look more at those companies. It will be better for you. Uh, they have this boutique service. I mean, Statris is, is a startup, you know, um, it's it's pretty easy to know uh, to know the, the the people within the company because it, it's still a human size and you can expect uh, a boutique service from the the company uh, they have a uk mastercard but only for uk accounts it's ideal for sme that uh, that needs to to do payment on, on a daily basis you know? so that's uh, that's a good company for that really user friendly as well uh, transparent fees but again you can negotiate for better rates if uh, if you get bigger uh, volumes so no air wallet so as you can see this is their website if you are looking for them and um, so the good thing with air wallet uh, you have this integration with zero and it even has its own expense uh, platform so that's that's interesting they have very good foreign exchange uh, rate but again you see this is something that comes back in each of them you know they do have good FX compared to uh, to banks uh, now if you deal with a lot of FX maybe the right thing to do is to approach each of them and see which one will give you the best rates because you know uh, yeah it's um, you have their fees that is uh, available on the website but then after you you can you can easily talk to, to those companies no it's not like Singapore uh, Singapore sorry it's not like a uh, HSBC where okay this is the rate that's it no. um, you can set up uh, accounts in Singapore as well so we can set up some accounts for our Singaporean companies so this is also interesting for us as I said you know many of our clients are actually looking for when they, when they have a certain size they are looking for uh, plan B's in Singapore at the moment so it just make it pretty easy to have uh, similar accounts in, in Hong Kong and Singapore uh, now I say bigger because I, I might do a video on that in the future but Singapore is quite more expensive than Hong Kong uh, in terms of company setup maintenance etc so 
Yeah, it's mostly our bigger clients for risk management that choose to have both a Hong Kong and a Singaporean structure. Um, good customer support, but it's more commercial. So that's what my account managers told me. You know, dealing with Airwalex is good. I mean, you have a really good rapport with them, but you can feel it's more commercial because Airwalex is, is bigger. You know, there is more, uh, I think there is private equity money at the back. Uh, they actually don't come from Hong Kong initially. And uh, so it's a bit less boutique than the two others, but, uh, but you still have a good customer service, just more commercial. It allows transfers to individuals as well. So same as a Statris, you can, you can pay and receive money from individuals. It's not just for B2B. Uh, the opening is quick. So you can quickly open your account with AirWallex. It is not too difficult. Uh, you can have a physical Visa card with them. So that's pretty nice if, you, if it's important to you. Um, upcoming payment gateway so uh, they are actually developing their own merchant accounts something similar to stripe or paypal so you that that's pretty great if you want to integrate airwalex to your e-commerce for example uh, if you don't work with um, i mean yeah you can still work with amazon and and, uh, and shopify but i mean if you have your own website and you want to have a payment gateway on it then they will have this option uh, really soon so that's interesting uh, they have preferential rates for e-commerce company as well. So um, as you can see, this AirWallex is quite a good option for, for e-commerce. Uh, most of our e-commerce uh, uh, clients actually choose to, to work with AirWallex. So all the Amazon, Shopify, or even own e-commerce, uh, own website, I mean. Um, they are not really transparent though, and uh, you really need to bargain to get your best uh, ethics. And the other thing is they are not based in Hong Kong. So this might sound like a bad thing, but actually clients actually like it for risk management purpose, purpose. Uh, especially after the 2019 protest and, and things like that in Hong Kong, uh, we got clients a little bit uh, scared of the situation here sometimes, although it's not as scary as some make it up. But, um, but yeah, so for risk management purpose, some like the idea that AirWallex is not actually based here. Now the question is, okay, so what to use for what purpose? Just to summarize it a little bit. So if you look at it, currency is good for large company with big B2B transaction. So trading, sourcing in general, that's where we'll find uh, the people that can do the best use of, of currency. Uh, Statris, so Statris is good for smaller structures, especially locals that wants a simple account for day-to-day -day operations with small feeds and great uh, customer service and, and support. And really boutique, so that's that's a great uh, options for them. And then AirWallex uh, tend to be a, a good all-rounder, uh, ideal for e-commerce, especially uh, with their proprietary payment link. Uh, it has great API with cloud accounting like Zero. And uh, the only thing is a bit more commercial uh, type of service. However, for e-commerce is really, uh, I think they are really the the, the leader uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, maybe even over banks, to be honest. So um, yeah, that's that's the three uh, three best offering I think you can find in Hong Kong. There are other smaller one or uh, some more random ones that you can find in the market. But to us, these are the three we like to work with the most. And uh, yeah, now if you do have any question about this presentation, if you want to be connected to somebody in any of those companies, or if you have a Hong Kong company, you have issues opening accounts or or you have any question related to accounting, uh, uh, company secretary whatsoever, just don't hesitate to send us an email at info at and my team will be there to help you. Thank you and see you in the next one.